Just a quick disclaimer before we begin. Do not harass the subject of this video. Things will get worse for all parties involved if uh, that happens. So uh, don't be a dick. And without further ado, let's begin this. I have dived deep into the bowels of DeviantArt many a time in my internet career, having come across artists of every type, of every skill level, and of every fandom. Some have been great, don't get me wrong, but it's the absolutely terrible ones that give DeviantArt its infamous reputation. Today, I have decided to critique Ivor 121. Oh boy, where do I even begin with Ivor? There is a lot, and I mean a lot, to cover here. I mean, there's no better start than the basics, I guess, so uh, let's begin there. Ivor has practiced several different forms of art over his long, long career. He's been on DeviantArt for about 13 years, according to his profile, which is just... Wow! 13 years is like fucking dinosaur times in internet history. You got lolcats going around the streets, YouTube barely two years into its infancy, and all sorts of other nostalgic internet stuff. That aside, though, it's clear that Ivor has been doing art for at least that long according to that part of his profile. Let's take a look at it. First, I'll be going over his more mundane stuff. There's other stuff I'll get to soon, but for now, have these. These actually look fairly good. They're nice, realistic, and quite soothing to look at, especially when compared to DeviantArt's literal hellscape of bad art. You got some nice landscapes here, as well as a few still lifes. There are also some pencil drawings on his profile, which uh, look pretty decent. One thing I do have to ask of you is to use a scanner for all of your stuff, Ivor. I can tell that you are using it for some of your stuff, but not all of it. It drastically improves the quality of your art when compared to just taking a photo of it with a regular consumer-grade camera and using that. That's all the criticism I have in mind for this part of his gallery, to be honest. Now, we're diving off the deep end. I'm going to ask a quick question to the viewer. How old do you think Ivor is based on that quick look of his stuff? Is he 20? 30? 40? Nope. All of those answers are off. Very, very off, unfortunately. Because Ivor is actually 72 years old. You heard me right, ladies and gents. 72 years old. How do I know this? Well, he might have posted a couple of journals reminiscing about the good old days. Based on what you guys just saw of his artwork, though, that wouldn't be too big a deal in my opinion. But here's where we get in the deep part of his art as well, my dear viewer. Because Ivor makes collages and drawings of giant children. You heard me right once again. Ivor makes collages and drawings of giant children. It's quite the fascination of his that he's had for his entire career. And Ivor doesn't just make up child OCs and call it a day either. No, he uses actual children as a reference for his artwork. The children also happen to be wearing swimsuits the vast majority of the time. It is for this reason that I will not be showing any of that artwork here. Uh, because I would rather keep my ass safe and not get banished to the shadow realms of the internet just for showing some creepos giant children images. Oh, and, uh... By the way, remember how I told you that he's been on DeviantArt for 13 years? Well, let's just say he's been on the internet in various forms for decades. Do you want to know where his career first started off? Well, it all began on GeoCities. Yes, you heard me right yet again, my dear viewers. GeoCities. It is there that he first began to post his giant child artwork and catalog exactly why he was into that stuff. Also, for whatever reason, he's into boys more than he's into girls. Even creepy obsessions have their specifics, I guess. Anyways, he made his first GeoCities website in the year of our lord, 2001. I am not making this shit up. He then made two other websites and maintained them all the way until 2008. 
thank Internet Archival Services for me being able to tell you all about this stuff. Now then, let's read exactly why he's into the fantasy of giant children, taken from his first GeoCities website circa 2001. Quote, Ever, Ever since, since I was, was in grade, grade school, school, I held a fascination with giants, be they in literature, in comics, or in the movies. If there was a giant involved, I was hooked. I kept these interests to myself, only rarely letting the world know. Obviously, there was on occasion giant material available, but I felt alone in my passion. I, along the way, developed a modest artistic talent, but the world never saw the visions that I had created for myself. I draw the giant I wished to be when I was ten years old. My fantasy world has been a secret obsession. Little did I realize that others might share my interest. Then came the internet. Things I only dreamed of were now exposed by others. I still hold my vision to be unique, but I know I am not alone. I have created a world on paper that reflected my anger, my frustration, my imagination, and my fancy." End quote. Well, sounds like he had a niche interest that he kept to himself and retained all throughout his life. And then the internet came and did what it does best, make communities surrounding that interest. Let's read a little bit more to see why he's into children specifically. Quote, My vehicle of expression utilizes young children. I choose this because of their inhibitions and their boldness, and yes, their casual cruelty. I imagine that if the good Lord sent an angel of destruction, it would be in the form of a child, beautiful and awesome. My work depicts such angels. End quote. Yeah! Totally not creepy at all. What you just witnessed is Ivor's apparent religiousness coming to light. This religious side to his giant child artwork has maintained itself throughout his career, even until now, with him referencing the Nephilim on his Twitter account. Ivor did not just post collages and stuff on his websites, though. He also solicited people to take photos of their own children for him to use in his collages. Ages 7 through fucking 12, holy shit. Remember, this was a man in his 50s asking for this. His fucking 50s. Oh, and uh, he responded to this letter for whatever reason. Uh, pause the video here so you can read it by yourself. Okay, now then, on to his written stuff. Yes, Ivor is in fact a creative writer. He, of course, wrote several stories involving giant children, but my favorite one of them all has to be the one where a ten-year-old, aided by the totally not a pedophile Dr. Mendel, travels back in time as a giant to just before the 9-11 attacks on the World Trade Center happened to save his family. Yeah, you couldn't make this shit up even if you tried. I'm not going over the other stories because, frankly, the 9-11 story tells you basically everything about Ivor in one fell swoop. He talks a lot about how he hates terrorists and Go USA and shit like that on his websites too, but eh, I'm not going to show you that because it should be obvious from that story alone. He also has a YouTube channel which contains such classics as gory foot and hand crush, and mega giant drawing sampler. Luckily though, websites have taken action against him due to his special interests. DeviantArt has taken down his work a couple times. Flickr has taken down his work. And Instagram has taken down his work among several websites he posted on. Ivor has repeatedly stated that he will continue to post whatever he makes, even if people find it despicable. I, however, see one lesson to be learned from this. Ivor, you need to stop your giant children nonsense. People from a wider audience will think that you're creepy as shit, which you are, and will try to make you stop for the greater good of humanity. 
Even if you think that God is on your side, it's actually the other way around. Keep doing your landscapes and still lifes as much as you want, Ivor, but for the love of God, stop with the giant children. Well, thanks for watching. You can follow me on Twitter.com if you want, but even if you don't, have a nice day. Sitting Say by the machine, 9.30pm. Is it too late to call Larry?